you know, what, what I really love teaching my teens, my families, um, I guess anyone who will listen <laughs> about is, is just how the, um, two systems in the brain. So obviously there are a lot of systems, but how the limbic system, which is responsible for managing emotions, how that in times of stress can just be so overwhelmed. Um, the activation of it yeah. floods our body with all the stress hormones, the adrenaline, the cortisol, right? And, and so when that is activated um, in a way that overwhelms the prefrontal cortex, yeah. which is the part of the brain that is responsible for regulating behavior, decision-making. It's, it's almost like we are just doing without thinking, um, like anything that we would maybe in times of like normal life, like be able to like think through our behaviors. Yeah. We are just so overwhelmed. You know, I've been talking with clients about how what we want to be focusing on so much, right? It is soothing, soothing the limbic system, soothing that uh, the amygdala, which is a part of the limbic system, which is kind of like the threat detector, um, like soothing it. I, I'm I'm doing these motions with my hands because I'm <laughs> I'm just like trying to calm it down yeah. <laughs> as we're talking. Um, you know, because any way that we can go about doing that is going to just help us be able to think through choices, make decisions, just calm our body down so that we can actually behave and respond according to our values, um, which feels like such a hard ask right now with everything that's going on. You know, I, it sounds silly to say, um, but even just doing some intense aerobic exercise, like um, jumping jacks, you know, running around the house, whatever that is, that can just even help regulate the brain, like regulate that um, limbic system a little bit more so that the connections between that and the prefrontal cortex are actually working in harmony um, what I am saying is that what the research has shown is that during adolescence the limbic system is most active so just even at baseline um, their limbic system their level of um, heightened emotion is just going to be uh, triggered, you know, um, more intensely, more rapidly, more quickly than at any other stage in life. And so, you know, when I think about just what we're going through with this pandemic, you know, I, I think for these teens, how hard it is for them to just at baseline have more intense emotions and then have to learn how to regulate them with all the added stressors that are being asked of them right now. Before we can even process, before we can be logical, before we can be rational, before we can talk through, you know, any um, decision making, right, problem solving type skills. And so, you know, one thing I would just encourage um you know and i'm exhaling as i'm saying it because i i'm feeling for parents in this as well that they're that they're also going through yeah this stress and and so they're being activated right and so um i guess what i would want to say is to encourage them to hold that um their teen's emotional brain needs to be attended to you know, it needs to be soothed, it needs to be regulated before they can maybe have some of the conversations that they're having to 
have right now, right? Like online learning and, you know, structure in the home and, you know, just trying to create any sense of like normalcy. Um, you know, I just want to offer my, my empathy to them in this. And then, and then also just encourage them that, you know, they can be co-regulators to their teens right now, that this is a great time to learn how to do things like pace breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, yoga, different, different things that, you know, they might um, find our ways to join with their team that are also just helpful in regulating the brain.